Yes, and the, um, the Most High said that um, he was going to consume our filthiness out of us. You know, Ezekiel 22 and uh, 15. Let me read that again. And I will scatter thee among the heathens, which means among the other nations, and will consume us all on. And I, verse 15, and I will scatter thee among the heathens and disperse thee in the countries. Selakia. And will consume thy filthiness out of thee. So he didn't only say he was going to uh, scatter us among the heathens, but he said he's going to disperse us into the different countries, man. So, man, all around the world, all around this globe, man, this earth, you got Hebrew Israelites in every culture, you know, rehearsing. What these other nations has taught them from generation to generations, keeping their customs. And, and to the most high, that's called filthiness. The only way you can be cleansed and be unfilthy is to come back to these law, statute, commandments, man. And the only way that'll happen is through Yahweh Shah and the Most High. Through Yahweh Shah, so you can get to the Father Yahweh. And rehearsing these law, statute, commandments, that's the only way you're gonna be uh, cleansed. And so the Most High is gonna consume that filthiness out of you, man. I mean, He's gonna remove. Your evil ways, man. Your sinful and heathenistic, gentilist ways. Verse 16. And and thou shalt take thy inheritance in thyself in the sight of the heathens, and thou shalt know that I am Yahweh. So the Most High said we're going to take our inheritance in, the, in, in sight of the heathens. And that's what we're doing now. If you're coming back to these law, to these law, statutes, and commandments, man, and you recognizing and uh, confessing and realizing that if you're a so-called Negro on your father's side, Hispanic or Native American, that you are a Hebrew Israelite, you know, you coming back into your inheritance, man. That's what this Bible is talking about. This is our inheritance. This belongs to nobody else but us. Let me read that uh, verse 16 again. And thou shalt take, um, and thou shalt take thy inheritance and thyself in the sight of the heathens. And thou shalt know that I am Yahweh. Verse 17. And the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying. So the Most High was saying, once he, once we get into these lands and we begin in the land of our captivities, in these different lands of slavery or captivity that we in, once we begin to call on his name and confess our sins and come back to these law, statutes, commandments, you know what I'm saying, that we, we're coming back into our inheritance, man, our nationality, Hebrew Israelites, man. And just like me, I'll be from the tribe of Judah, man. Yahawadah. You know what I'm saying? Which um, which is, you know, uh, you know, thanks thanks to the most high, you know, the fourth son. So once you come into your inheritance, man, then you come back into your uh nationality. You know, Yahweh thanks. Let's go, um, matter of fact, that we see, since we're still in this scattering, so we can understand what he was saying in John 10 and 14. You know, I have sheep that are not of this fold. He's letting you know that we were scattered. And not only that, we're going to look like these other people, man. We're going to look like these other nations. Matter of fact, let me go here. Let me just read this right quick in Daniel since that came up. We're going to look like these other nations. Everybody ain't going to be jet black, jet dark brown or, you know, high yellow. I mean, you're going to have high yellow. You can have Israelites, Hebrews that look just like Edomites, man. You know, look at Blake Griffin's son, man. You know, that's the confusion of faces, man. Just because a person ain't real, real dark don't mean he ain't a Hebrew Israelite. Or if he's too light doesn't mean he's not a Hebrew Israelite, man. Let's go here. Uh, let me see what I'm looking for. Uh, let me see. Give me a second. Oh, yeah, Daniel 9 and 7 says, O Yahweh, righteousness belongeth unto thee, but unto us confusions of faces, as as this day. You know what I'm saying? Confusion of faces, really, it, 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 it's twofold. You know, it really means that we're going off. You know, we're not rehearsing these laws, statutes, commandments like we're supposed to no more. So, you know what I'm saying? We done got into rehearsing the ways of the heathens. 
So that's the confusion of faces because we don't look like what we, we don't, we don't look like what we supposed to. Like our light is not shining. We're not living out, you know, the words of the Most High Yahweh Bashim Yahweh And then the second fold is that we looking like these other nations, man, that we was uh, in these lands where we was taken captivity to. So it says, it, but to but unto us belong confusions of faces, as at this day, till this day, we look like these other nations, and we are doing the same thing these other nations are doing, man. And it says, and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and unto all Israel, there are near and there are far off. So this is to all you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. None of us look like you know our ancient forefathers because we have been scattered abroad man you know and we begin to we mix with these other nations these heathen nations and so we begin to look like these other nations that are that are near and that are far off through all the countries where the thou hast driven them because of their trespass that they have trespassed against thee so the most high has driven us into all these nations. And that's what we're talking about. We're talking about this, this scattering that the Most High put on us. And that's the reason why we are called Gentiles. Because we look like these heathen, heathenistic nations. And we're keeping these heathenistic nations uh, ways. Matter of fact, let's go to... Um, let's go to... Um, I'm going to go to 2nd Maccabees. Uh... 2nd Maccabees, and I'm going to start at chapter 6. And it says, chapter 6, verse 1. It says, not long after this, the king sent out old men of, of Athens to compel the Jews, which is you so-called Negroes, which be the so-called uh, Jamaicans and so-called Haitians and you so-called African Americans. Let me read it again. 2nd uh, Maccabees, chapter 6, verse 1. Not long after this, the king sent an old man of Athens to compel the Jews to depart from the laws of their fathers and not to live after the laws of Yahweh or of their power, man. So, you know, these Edomites, these so-called white men, these red Hebrew Edomites, man, you know, they made a decree, man, that they sent out that we can't keep our traditions. We can't keep the law, statutes, commandments. We can't go around calling on Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. We can't be circumcising myself. That's why when the Bible talks about the uncircumcised, that's talking about the Israelites that couldn't circumcise themselves. You know, because the king at that time, the so-called white man, the Red Hebrew Edomite, said that we couldn't do it or they're going to put us to death. So we was compelled not to keep the ways of our ancestors and, and not to uh, live after the laws of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. We was, you know, we couldn't do this. We couldn't walk this word out like we can today, right now. All right, let's let's go to. Um, I'm gonna stay in. Uh, I'm gonna stay in uh, Maccabees, Second Maccabees. Let's go to verse six. It says, "Neither was it lawful for a man to keep the Sabbath days or ancient feast, or to profess himself at all to be a Jew." So we couldn't even profess ourselves at all to even be a Hebrew Israelite. Or to be a Jew. You know, we couldn't keep the Sabbath days or our ancient feast days. We couldn't keep the Passover, the Day of Atonement. We couldn't keep these days. We had to keep the, he the heathenistic ways, man. You know, the so called white man, the Red Hebrew Eater, might have us doing what he was doing. Like today, got us celebrating Christmas, Easter, Thanksgiving, etc., etc. Let me read that again. 2nd Matthew chapter 6, verse 6. Neither was it lawful, I mean, it was against the law at that time. Like right now, it's, uh, it's, against, it's against the law, you know, to uh, put a homosexual to death. It was against these Hebrew, these red Hebrew Edomites, these so-called white men laws. Neither was it lawful for a man to keep the Sabbath. That's why you don't know when your Sabbath day is. You know, it goes off the new moon. You don't know when that is. You know, you think Sunday is the Sabbath day. Everybody think every week Saturday is a Sabbath. Uh, 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 Saturday is the Sabbath. Which the Sabbath goes off the moon, man. It changes. Neither was it lawful for a man to keep the Sabbath days or ancient feast days or to prof profess himself at all to be a Jew. So we couldn't even call ourselves at our own nationality. 
You know, we had to call if you was if you was under those Greeks at that time, you was you just calling yourself a Greek. You know, the Greeks the one put this law out, man. That's why when you read the New Testament, it says there's neither Jew nor Greek. It's talking about the, the, the uh, Hebrew Israelites, you know, the, 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 uh, the southern kingdom at that time that was in the Greek captivity. Uh, it was talking about them because they couldn't call themselves Jews no more. So they had to take on the nationality of the, of the heathens, which was to call themselves Greeks. So when the Bible said there was neither Jew nor Greek, that's talking about Israelites. That's why we're called Gentiles. Because we was keeping their customs. And it was against the law for us to keep our own customs. So that's why when you read the New Testament, it's calling us Gentiles. That's why they took the Apocrypha out of the um, out of the um, they took the Apocrypha out of the King James Bible. If you get the 1611, the Apocrypha is ended. I'm gonna read verse 7, Maccabees 6 and 7. And in the day of the king's birthday, every month they were brought by bitter constraint to eat of the sacrifices. So during the king's birthday, they said we were brought by bitter restraints. That means we was made, they made us celebrate birthdays. We didn't celebrate birthdays. We celebrate the day that the child was born, but that's about it. We didn't celebrate birthdays in a celebration because we never celebrated nobody higher than the most high. We know we never celebrated nobody but the most high Yahweh. But we'll celebrate the birth of your child. But as to celebrating birthdays, that wasn't our traditions, man. That was the so-called white man traditions. Let me read that again. Verse 7. 2 Maccabees chapter 6, verse 7. And in, and in the day of the king's, and in the day of the king's birthday, every month they were brought by bitter constraint to eat of the sacrifices. So they had us eating pork, lobster, and shrimp, all these unclean foods. And when the feast of Bacchus was kept, the Jews were compelled to go in uh, procession to Bacchus carrying ivory. So they had us, you know, uh, celebrating this uh, satanic force, Bacchus. You know, and verse 8, and moreover, moreover there went out a decree to the neighbor cities, neighbor neighbor cities of the heathens, by the suggestions of, of Potomy, Potomy against the Jews, that they should observe, that they should observe the same fashions, and be partakers of their sacrifices. So they made us, you know, keep their traditions, man. So that's why when you read in the New Testament, it's talking about Gentiles. It's talking about us. When it's talking about Greeks. It's talking about us because they wouldn't let us call ourselves uh, uh, um, Jews. We had to call ourselves Greeks. They wouldn't let us keep our own customs and laws, statutes, and commandments. You know, we had to do what they said do. So that's why you have a confusion on the New Testament. Yes, Israelites, Hebrews were called what? Gentiles. All right. Now let's go up here to um, where we at. Let's go to John, the Gospel of John. This Bible getting super heavy. You know, go to the, uh, give me a second. I got so much stuff in my hands. All right, let's go to 2 John. I mean, not 2 John, the Gospel of John chapter 7. So do y'all understand when they, in the New Testament when it's talking about Gentiles, anytime it's referring to Gentiles as being uh, adopted back or receiving salvation or deliverance, that it's talking about the Jews, the Hebrews. It's not talking about nobody else. Because Yahweh Shah said what? Yahweh Shah said he came for his own. He says salvation is of the Jews. You can read that in what? John 4. Matter of fact, let's get that. Let's get John 4 right quick. Shit. I got too much going on. Matter of fact, I stay right here. I'll be at my phone and get it. Let's get John 4. I might might be around 22. I'm going to start at 21. John, Gospel of John, chapter 4, verse 21. Yahweh Shah said unto her, this is when the uh, Samaritan woman at the well came to Yahweh Shah 
she was being slick mouth, you know, when Yahweh Shah asked her for a drink. When Yahweh Shah asked her for a drink, this thing just said my phone is overheating. <laughs> to the devil working, boy. He's eating my working. You know, when Yahweh Shah asked her for a drink and she didn't give him one. And so this is what he responded to her. Uh, John 20, 